Starting tomorrow, all adults in Texas will be eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine. DSHS says that's thanks to an increase in vaccine supply. But there's mixed reaction to this news. Some Texans are relieved to be able to sign up for a shot, but a lot of other people who are already eligible are still waiting for the vaccine and they're worried about being passed up. Knowing that I finally get to do that is, is really exciting. Monday is a big day for Coy Branscombe of Dripping Springs. It's the first day he'll be eligible for a COVID-19 vaccine. Just thinking about it makes me feel overjoyed. Just being able to like be a part of the solution. The Texas Department of State Health Services estimates this expanded eligibility will allow another 8 to 10 million Texans to get a shot but we won't have that many shots right away. We still expect that we'll see demand, uh, you know, exceeding supply for uh, at least several weeks into the future. You know, we heard from our federal partners that uh, we, we should be seeing more vaccine supply starting next week and really throughout the month of April. Lori Schaus of Elgin, who's already eligible, has had trouble getting a shot. If we open up the state to everybody, where does that leave those of us who haven't been able to get our vaccine yet? It's a problem. Meanwhile, the state directed vaccine providers to prioritize older Texans for appointments and allow them to skip the line when they show up for a shot. DSHS plans to launch a website and a toll free number to help people get those appointments. I spoke more in depth with Chris Van Dusen from the Department of State Health Services about these new efforts and how they're making sure the vaccine gets to Texans who need it the most. What is your message to Texans who are in 1B and 1C who are having a hard time finding access to the vaccine for whatever reason, um, who, who might feel a little bit like they're being overtaken by now the whole rest of the adult population. The, the people in those groups are still a priority for us and are a priority for the providers out there. Um, you know, certainly there are areas of the state, uh, though, that um, have, have seen, you know, work through those lists and, and uh, you know, generally sort of the lesser populated parts of the state. And, and we want to make sure they have the flexibility to open up further, but are asking those providers continue to prioritize, you know, those people who are 50 and older who have those underlying conditions so that they're protected from COVID-19. So far, it has been up to the local entities, right, to, to and, and providers and, and public health uh, departments to kind of coordinate the, the um, you know, online signups uh, and, and over the phone signups, like those for vaccines. Um, how, I guess, what is the state's plan for this website? Yeah, well, you know, the goal is to, you know, provide another option and, and you know, to bring together some of the, you know, disparate uh, uh, methods or places that people were signing up. Uh, you know, it's not going to bring everything together, of course, at this point. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's really going to bring together those participating health departments and make sure that there is a centralized location uh, for much of the public health vaccination that's going to be going on in Texas. Many of the, the smaller local health departments and our regional offices that, uh, you know, are out there serving people day in and day out, making sure that, uh, you know, there are, you know, particularly in rural areas, that uh, there's a resource available for people um, to, to go, uh, you know, to one central place and sign up. You know, they'll be able to select, um, you know, okay, this is the geographic area in which I want to be vaccinated. You can kind of set that parameter yourself. And either, uh, you know, there will be an appointment available immediately or the system can contact you when, when a future clinic is scheduled and where future uh, vaccine appointments become available. We'll have, do want to emphasize too, there will be a, a phone number component to that. So, you know, I think most people, uh, you know, are comfortable going online, making those appointments. And uh, that's going to be the best solution for most people. But if for whatever reason uh, you're not that comfortable with technology, you don't have Internet access, there will be a phone number you can call to get scheduled either at those um, public health vaccine clinics or to get a referral to another provider in your area. DSHS plans to launch that website and the toll free hotline this week, possibly as early as tomorrow. As the state expands vaccine eligibility, it's also loosening restrictions on visitors to nursing homes and long-term care facilities across Texas. Last week, the state started allowing residents who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 to have close contact with visitors. And now, up to two people deemed essential caregivers can visit a resident at a time. Also, the state is now allowing outdoor visitations. However, face masks are still required. Crowds of concerned citizens signed up to speak at a hearing over new restrictions on Texas voters. You have a, a greater chance of being struck by lightning than you do of participating in voter fraud. But they never got a chance to speak. How a big mistake unexpectedly shut down the debate. 